Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me. I'm going to do your reading for the <clears throat> second half of September and we'll find out what messages spirits have for you. There are some, there is some spam in the comments and they're using my picture, my logo here and everything. This picture that my daughter drew for me. Um, let me try to raise the camera up so you can see it a little bit. So be careful. I'm trying to send you to what's app or other stuff that that's not me. Okay, so I'm just going to shuffle the cards three times. What does Taurus need to know, spirits? Okay, Taurus. What does Taurus need to know, spirits? There's a lot of energy in the cards tonight, Taurus. Okay, we have the Three of Cups. I'm going to go back and clarify the cards after I get everything laid out, but this is a great celebration, the Three of Cups. And then I have the moon, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. There's something here that you're not seeing clearly. And then I have the, the devil showing up. This is Capricorn energy. This can be some type of an addiction or something like that too. What's happening with Taurus? The Page of Cups. This is an emotional message that you'll be getting. And for the center card of this reading, we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This is someone who thinks a lot. Someone who only cares about facts. This is a decision that needs to be made. Or that I see this could be you making a decision, Taurus. And then I have the Page of Wands. This is a messenger. The Two of Wands, standing at a crossroads in your life, choosing a new path. The Nine of Wands, this is being like mentally exhausted. This is the Wounded Warrior card. This is someone with their head bandaged up, someone who's not giving up. And then I have the Magician. <clears throat> this is a great energy of having all the tools, everything you need to do something, manifest something. And so we're going to clarify the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here, Spirits? Of the three of wands this is you looking out into your future there's a new ship coming in Taurus there's something new coming in for you 
that's going to be a great celebration here. And the Ace of Swords, this is success and victory. This could all also be communication from someone. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, but it doesn't have to be. This is just someone who has a lot of love for you, and they're very in control of their emotions. Um, they're, they're on choppy water, but they're not... They're not letting go. And so I'm seeing a tower moment happen. I have the tower showing up here next. This is shocking, sudden news. Like, I feel like you could be getting communication with this Ace of Swords from someone that's going to really shock or surprise you. And this is something that you're not seeing with the moon card showing up. Why is the moon here? The lovers. Strength. And the ace of wands. <clears throat> this is someone that could have put you in a third party situation with the lover's card showing up and the devil right next to it. <clears throat> These two cards are very similar. There's two people here on the bottom of the devil and two people on the bottom of the lover's card. And there's an angel standing in the middle of the lover's card and this devil standing in the middle of the devil card. This I'm feeling like this connection with this person, it's someone who could have addictions or put you in a third party situation. And this is something hidden. It's some type of secret. Okay. And then I have strength. And so I'm seeing a lot of courage, strength. This is Leo energy. This is strength coming from within. And the Ace of Wands, this is a brand new passionate beginning. There's an exciting message coming in here, Taurus. I'm not sure what this is yet, but it brings us to the devil. Why is the devil here? Okay, so I'm seeing another three. I have the three of pentacles now. I feel like whoever this person is, their, their message is, is they want to work on a stable foundation with you. This is someone who wants to, to rebuild with you. Because there was a lot of happiness here at times with the ten of cups. It was happy home, happy family. Everything was great. But I feel like someone really got in their ego and they were very cold with their words. And so you walked away from this person. There was no point in fighting with this person. They were too much in their ego. And so then we have the hermit. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. But I feel like you're spending some time alone right now looking for answers from within. There's little to no communication with this person, with this hermit energy. And then I have the Page of Cups, a message. Why is the Page of Cups here? Yeah, there's messages that will be coming in. Back and forth messages, very emotional messages that I'm seeing you here guarding your heart, trying to make a decision. You're blindfolded here and your arms are crossed over your heart. And 
And it has to do with this person wanting to work on this connection with you. This is someone who's telling you they want to put the work into this connection with you. And so at the very center of this reading with the King of Swords, there's a decision. Why is the King of Swords here? A decision about this connection with the Two of Cups. But there's something here right in the middle of you guys. Something stands in between you. I've seen that three times. With this decision, there's something standing in there. It's something that's not supposed to be there. There is a very painful ending here. And so with the Ten of Swords, this is an ending. It was painful. Um, there was a betrayal. So there may be a loss of trust here. And that may be this big thing standing in the middle is, is this trust issue. You're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This energy is you. Very loving, giving, kind, male or female. This is like a mothering energy, someone who's very loving, giving, and kind. And I feel like this person betrayed you in a huge way here. And then we have the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? This is someone who is being very immature. They were looking at other options. They were thinking, oh, I have all of these, all of these options, and they were in their ego. This is someone who did have a lot of passion for you. They do have a lot of passion for you, and they think about this often. But they were giving to two people here. And now they're coming back wanting to give you it all. It's like they're handing you this Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry, I want to give you, I want to give you it all. And so I see you here standing at a crossroads in your life. Do you really want to put this in your world again? Why is the Two of Wands here, Spirits? This is an X. It's a soulmate connection with the Six of Cups. There's blocked communication or feeling left out in the cold. And this person has kind of shook up your world and left you standing at this crossroads. And I'm seeing them rushing in with some type of truth. And they're not thinking about what they're saying before they're saying it. They're just rushing in with truth. With a sword up here. And it has to do with this family. You could have had a dog with this person. The dog is standing out to me. This is happy home, happy family. But I feel like you feel like this. This is the wounded warrior, like you're exhausted from this person. Why is the nine of wands here? And this third party, it doesn't have to be a person. It can be an addiction. Why is the nine of wands here? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Libra. But this could be any sign. I have all the signs here. I feel like you're you're really tired because you've been working on yourself. You look beautiful here. You're working on your money. Taking care of what needs to be taken care of on your own. And this person's coming in wanting to reconcile with you. But this 
this is someone that requires you to have a lot of patience. They're coming in with truth, with justice sitting here and trying to manifest you. Why is the magician here? Yeah, the be they're trying to manifest you here because there was an ending and they want to rebirth to this connection. They're really up in their head about you. They keep thinking about you all the time. This is like the nightmare card. All of the swords up on the wall, these are thoughts. This is someone feeling like there's a big loss here, like they missed an opportunity with you. They're fighting an, an inner battle with themselves because they want to raise this from the dead with judgment showing up here. They're wanting to raise this from the dead. What is this judgment? Someone who has a, who, this person does have a lot of love for you. I have the Queen of Cups here. And this is someone that you care about too, Taurus. I see you care about this person too. And they're just, they're holding on. They don't want to let go. So let's see what the Oracle cards say here. What does Taurus need to know, spirits? You and your loved ones are safe. Don't let your past hold you back. And a new romantic cycle begins. A fiery climax approaches on the bottom of the deck. And let me just get you one of these oracle cards. What does Taurus need to know, spirits? Potential. So for some of you, this connection does have potential. Take what resonates, leave the rest of it, because this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading. So take what resonates here and leave the rest of it, Taurus. And then I have thriving, which I see you doing here. You're thriving on your own in this nine of pentacles energy. That's like you're really making some moves here and moving forward with your life. And freedom. For some of you, you need to set yourself free and don't let this person hold you back. Okay, Taurus, so these are the messages spirits have for you tonight. I hope they help and bring you clarification to see the bigger picture. And I send you lots of love and light, Taurus, and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.